In this video, I'm going to walk you step by step through how to set up a Facebook page for your business. Now, I don't personally care if you have a Facebook page or a Facebook profile for yourself and you use it in your personal life. I don't care if you're too cool for Facebook or anything like that. What I do care about is how well your business is represented online and having a Facebook page for your business is absolutely critical. Nine. 0.9 times out of 10 your customers are on Facebook and they can come across your business this way Also, Google looks at Facebook listings and everything for businesses when they're pulling information in and they want to make sure that your business's Facebook page matches the information they have in their database so they're checking to make sure that they have the correct information and they look at Facebook to do that so it's imperative that you have a Facebook page for your business now you will have to have a personal Facebook account in order to create a business Facebook page but whether you use it or not I don't care it doesn't matter to me so let me show you what a business page looks like we have the Portage store right here which is an awesome campground up in Canada and they have some really awesome photography on here which is why I loaded up their Facebook profile you see they have this nice close-up of a moose drinking some water as their cover image. They have like the sunrise over their canoes. They have pretty pictures in their posts. And this allows people to share their business. Like 164 people like this image. 16 people shared it. There's a bunch of people talking about it. They're able to share other information. Just a bunch of other great things that people are able to like and share and spread the word about their business. And you know, draw some more eyes on their business, which is just really awesome. And you can see a little bit of information right here about their page. They've got 7,831 people liking the page. Several people have been here. They have their hours and their pricing right here and I get additional information, which is great. So this is some of the information that Google will pull in as well as those hours. So you want to have accurate information on Facebook. They have their address, their phone number, their website. So when you have your website set up, you want to connect it to your Facebook page. And it just looks really nice and professional. There's photos, videos, reviews, other pages that the Portage store likes. It's just a great representation of their business. And like I said, you need a Facebook page. So we're going to set one up and it's very easy to do. As soon as you log into your Facebook account, you'll see on the left hand side here, it says pages. And all you have to do is hit more. And then at the top here, it says create a page, which is exactly what we want to do. And now you select what type of business you have. I'm going with local business or place. Choose a category. And then of course fill in all the pertinent information, pretty self-explanatory, and hit get started. And now it's going to literally walk you through how to set everything up for your page. So you can add categories, a description, and a website to improve our ranking in our page search. Of course we want to add all this because we want improved ranking in our page search. And is this business a real establishment, business, or venue? Yes. And are we the authorized and official representation of the establishment? Yes. Save info. Now we can go ahead and upload our profile picture, which is that this little square picture right here. So for the Portage store, they have the sunrise over the canoes. I'm just going to upload my logo. And you hit next. All add to favorites does is adds it to your Facebook like homepage favorites. So I'll show you real quick. So right up here, this is your favorites area. So anything under here are your favorites. So if you select to add to favorites, your page will be right here and you'll be able to easily navigate to it. I'm just going to skip that for this time being. And now we can also identify our preferred audience. And Facebook mainly uses this. So when you want to set up an advertising campaign, they already have information stored for you. But I also feel like it might help with the search results. So I always fill it out just in case. And it's real simple. You have locations, your age range, your gender and interests, and you just hit save. And if you want, they'll give you a little tour of what's going on with your page. They have this getting around tour and it'll give you a, a tour through all these tabs, but I'm going to close this for the time being. But it might be helpful if you're unfamiliar with how to navigate Facebook. That tour might be slightly helpful. And as you can tell, I don't have a pretty cover image like the Portage store does. They have that pretty moose up there. So I want to go ahead and add my cover to make it unique. So you just hit add a cover, upload photo, find your Facebook logo, 
and be sure to hit save changes once you have it where you want it you can drag it if it's like bigger than the recommended size mine's set to fit exactly in this window so I can't drag it anywhere but if you had a giant picture of a moose and you just wanted its face you could drag it around and center it right on the moose's face but make sure you hit save changes down here in the bottom right and then it says would you like to like your own page your own business and if you have a Facebook profile a personal one and you have a bunch of friends that would want to like your page definitely go ahead and like it so that way it'll pop up on your friends' news feeds that you like your own business page and they might like it as well. Since I'm making this Facebook page as an example, I'm going to skip this because I already have a three-step sites Facebook page and I don't want people liking this one too. It just would get confusing. So I'm actually going to delete this page right after I finish this video. I'm just showing you how to set up your own page. So I'm just going to close this. And here we go. We have a Facebook page for our business. Now, if you have a physical location with store hours and everything, definitely go in here and add hours. If you want to add your price range, add your price range. You want to put as much information as humanly possible into your page so that way people can get the answers they're looking for from your business. And you can also hit this little pencil up here that says manage and edit. And now you'll be able to edit a whole lot more information about your page, for example, a Facebook web address which I do recommend doing and what that does is it creates a page like facebook.com slash your business or in this case portage store if you don't have a URL for your Facebook page it's going to have some numbers and everything attached and it just looks a little sloppy so definitely assign a Facebook web address just to clean things up and here you can add in all your other information here's the hours again you can add descriptions, price range, information about parking if that's specific to your business. And just make sure all this information is inputted and up to date. And it'll really help your business look good on Facebook. And again, it'll be able to help people better find your business and your website, which is exactly what you want to have happen. Okay, if you have any questions or issues at all, never ever hesitate to contact me. I'm available at Nathan at 3stepsites.com. I'm here to help your business succeed. Have a good one.